What's up everybody? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm talking really, really loud right now because I have the embroider machines going in the background embroidering like crazy. Also got some DTFs printing in the other side of the room. But the All-American Print Supply open house was amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys some footage of things that transpired that I didn't get to put into like a full type of uh, video. So I was walking around when I first got to the facility with my Ray-Ban Stories on. For people that don't know what Ray-Ban Stories are, there are these glasses right here that I can wear and they record video, right? So I was walking around with my Ray-Ban Stories and I got some footage for you guys. So let me just show you guys some footage of me wearing the Ray-Ban Stories and showing you guys some of the equipment and talking to some people and stuff like that. You guys can see the whole setup, all right? So let's get into it right now. All right, we got the Prestige XL2 and pressing some transfers here. What's up, man? Good, good, good. Hey. Again. Where is it? You know, I think we're gonna go over dealer. Uh, I'm gonna walk through the warehouse mm -hmm. together. Uh, if you sure. don't mind joining. Uh, sure. That would be okay, great. all right. Yeah, yeah. Let me turn um, this off. All right, so this right here is the area where you come in and you take some photos, guys. We got the All American Print Supply backdrop right here. You got the financing professionals. No, I'm actually filming with my glasses. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Oh, I appreciate that. Look at that shirt right there. No days. That's what I'm talking about. 24-7-365. There you go. He said he came to see me. That's awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we got some shirts here. I'm filming, by the way, with my... Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. It's square footage. So this is it, guys. Um, I'm about to take a tour in a little while. They're getting the A4 situated. We got the shaker, the Sizemo 820 right here, shaker. If you just wanna, you can still do production with this because it's faster than the A3 Plus R, but it's not as fast as that. That one's gonna save you time. Like if you get a 20 piece or a 50 piece order, that's gonna knock it out fast. That's, that you still tied up a little bit. The Prestige, forget about it. Remember, we, I was tied up like a month. Right? I'm there all, all day just for, just for one order of like 30, you know what I mean? That will handle, we'll cut that time in half. This will kill that time. That'll knock it out in like, I don't know, maybe like an hour. I'm still working out of my basement. I don't have a shower. Oh, right. So you can't, it's going to be difficult for you to get the, the dryers down. Yeah, unless you got access to your basement, like you got a garage well, or something. I, I do have, I do oh. have, I have a, 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 a double door, a French door. Oh, so you I get to go. Basement, you you get saying, to go then. I mean, I ain't got a whole lot of space like I used yeah. to have. But. So, we'll, we'll put it like this. You want to make money. You want to get rid of some stuff so you can make some money? Uh, I, I Guys, um, I got my Ray-Ban stories on and we're going to go get some footage. We are at the AM All-American Print Supply uh, event right here and let's go see what we got going on. Alright. Look at this stuff right here. We got SFN making some making some crunchy transfers here. Uh, they're running on a power strip so we need electricity. Okay. Huh? Okay, so we just gotta get the multiple cell. A4, nice. Prestige R2, it's getting close so you guys can check that out. Amazing. We got the Prestige L2 right here. If you guys want to shake off just your uh, single prints right here, and then we got the baker with the um, with the uh, filtration system on the top of it to purify that air. Uh, also, I uh, definitely recommend that if you're gonna do this. Definitely gotta filter that air out, all right? And also, make sure you guys get a separate filter system and even wear a respirator, in my opinion. That's what I'm telling you guys, all right? So I guess everybody's gonna start soon. But this, this is the new bad boy right here. And it's between these two for me. It's between these two. You guys let me know in the comments which one I should go with. It's between these two. Um, this one prints faster than the A3 Plus R. This one is for production. 
So let me know in the comments, guys, what should I go with? This one, production, faster, or this one, which is faster than the A3 Plus R, but not as fast as that. Let me know. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just cutting some transfers, separating them um, for a client right here. But um, guys, what do you guys think about the Ray-Ban stories and the first-person footage? I think it's pretty cool um, to get that perspective. It's kind of like you guys are with me, kind of, sort of. So it's, I think it's a cool perspective. Let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like that. And I'll keep on shooting with the Ray-Ban stories. They're fun to use, easy to use. I don't have to focus and do anything like that. I'm just pretty much in the moment, just walking around, minding my own business. And they're really, really inconspicuous. People don't seem to mind. People don't even seem to notice the tally light. There's a tally light on the side of them. People don't even seem to notice that I have them on. So really, really interesting and really, really want to know what you guys think about the Ray-Ban Story glasses and if I should use them more often when I make videos, guys. So let me know in the comments down below. All right, so I did two presentations while I was there at the AA All-American Print Supply uh, Expo. And I have some footage of um, my, my uh, presentations. I don't know if I should put these footages in this video or if I should, I'm, I'm, as a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a separate video and put the, put the presentation in a separate video so you guys can check that out. All right, so stay tuned for that. But guys, um, if you haven't or if you don't know, you can go ahead and upload your image to alanaway.com and buy some custom DTFs. If you don't have any images, I am going to be putting images on there that you can buy alanaway.com if you don't have any images if you just want to buy some and press onto your, your your garments i'm gonna work on that pretty much for the rest of the day today so don't hesitate don't forget to go to alanaway.com and buy some of those images um, i think i'm gonna close this video out but i'm gonna take some of the footages that are gonna live on my hard drive forever and i'm gonna play those footage from the All-American Print Supply show that I think is useful for you guys to see so that, once again, this footage doesn't stay on my hard drive and stay in the abyss forever. So I'm gonna close out the video with that and like, comment, subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel already for more stuff like this. And let me know which machine you guys like the best, the Prestige A4 and why the Prestige R2 and Y, the Prestige XL2, I mean the Prestige L2 and Y, and the Prestige XL2 and Y. Let me know what machine you think you're gonna go for, and don't forget to use my All American Print Supply affiliate link in the description down below to purchase your machine, guys, all right? See you guys on the next video, but enjoy the rest of the footage. Peace. Uh, we're all videoing each other. Wait, let me let me get Instagram over here. Camera with me. Let me get you one. I'm gonna get video. Hey, I'm good, man. How you doing? How you doing? doing good. Hey, like you got can make the team it. here. <laughs> all right, Alan Wade in the house. Hello, hello. How are Welcome you? Welcome to Buena Park, California. Thank you so much. Good. Glad to be here. Oh my gosh. So we sure you had a very fun and amazing trip. Yes, yes, uneventful um, flight. Um, enter over there. Okay. Oh, let me go unlock the door. So, oh, okay. so what? This is a Prince yeah, so All American Prince Supply Co. Nice, this nice. Is branch. We have. This is where the magic happens of the marketing team, and then okay. we have another building there where the orders come is. Okay. It's like on that side. Right. But the fun stuff for, for today, our open house is going to be in this building over here. Oh, okay. So uh, we're going to unlock it. This is where uh, people are going to enter through. The open, open house, house is tomorrow, right? It's it's tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Long Just making time. sure. I heard you say today. I'm like, wait a minute. No, but. Uh, <laughs> This is where they're gonna enter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Nice. 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 First time at the All American yeah. Print Supply Co. Facility. All right. This is uh, Raina is in the building. <laughs> so we're in the middle of setting. We're not 100 percent done yet, but. Nice. Nice. Hey. 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 Hello. How's everybody How's doing? doing here? I like it. I like it. Got so the backdrop. Nice. Oh, I got the new inks. I like that. <laughs> Look at that. Vibrant. And the new powder. Hot melt powder. Okay. Cleaning solution. Swabs. 
lint-free wipes. And what's this? White base coating. Got to find out what this is. Subly glaze. I'm assuming that's for sublimation. Not now sure. that means you're going to have to take a crack at it too well. Mm -hmm, definitely. I love it. We've got our brand new beautiful backdrop. Mm -hmm. just, I think it'll be really fun for everyone to take photos with definitely. everyone and also with you. You're going to have a couple of fans who are going to be wanting to take some selfies with you. So just get ready. Yeah, yeah. Obviously you met Adam. Adam, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? Good, man. I see yeah. you hard at work over there. Oh, yeah. Trying. Nice. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. How was the flight in? Hey, man. Uneventful. Uneventful. Very yeah. good. Yeah, Spend yeah. Time. Smooth landing. One of my subscribers was like, you're flying right into a storm. I'm like, bro, <laughs> do you even watch the news? Like, yeah, it's like days ago. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, man? And then it's Armand, I believe. Yo, there's the guy. Man? You made it. What's up, man? Oh, welcome, welcome. Glad yeah. to have you. How was the trip? It was uneventful, man. It was good. Ooh, good. I like this. this. We are in the middle gadgetry. of gadgetry. Oh it's not 100% gosh. done yet, but it's, it's gonna okay. get there. This is Don't amazing. Worry. I like the gadgets. But uh, we're still in the prepping the mode color right schemes. now. Color schemes. So just ignore the setup. But at least you know behind the scenes, it puts a lot of hard work, and we just wanted to share this with everybody. So okay. it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, 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 oh! Wait. <laughs> you want to get? Sure. Yes, I, you want to show? Oh no! You, you guys, you guys yeah, yeah. already um, showed it the expo, so I can go ahead and. You can look at it. Totally. Okay. Okay. Ah. 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 That's what you've been waiting for, huh? A little bit longer. So, okay. Full dedicated white print head, full mm -hmm. dedicated CMYK in the back. We're looking at almost 30 square feet an hour. 30 square feet an hour. 27, 27, almost okay. 30, okay. almost 30. almost 30, depending on the size of the design, of Exactly. Course. And, um, Esteban, what is different Speed wise, this versus the um, old Prestige A3 Plus R that's just continuing. I'm gonna say we're looking at almost double the output. We're still 13 inches wide, which is pretty decent for the head carriage to move back and forth, get the designs out. Yeah. But because there is, like I said, dedicated dual head system underneath, one eight channel just for white, one eight channel just for the CMYK, we're pumping out 27 square feet an hour when you have it connected to a roll feeder machine. Nice. I see some fancy lights going on here. I'm just, I don't know, I see some bells and whistles. What's the lights for? That just lets you know ink or something like Correct. that? Correct, so these levels? are gonna to correspond to ink levels. If they're not flashing, they're not yelling at you, then everything's good. This is what you wanna see for your ink levels, make sure everything has enough to keep production running. Fancy. And then here, you guys will see when we get this up and running, the head's gonna create a illuminated backlit, wow. just R2, R2. Fancy. So yeah. Uh, a boss man paid a little extra to get that on there, so it, it came out pretty cool when it's in action. So try to make it sleeker, slimmer, higher performance. I like it. But I like still it. on a desktop. I like the car too, and I like the. I like the uh, this, and this is the. Um, what model is this? So this is a newer model. This is part of the M series. Right here we have the M16. So it's going to be a little more on the space conscientious side. You would be needing to attend to it, I'd say about every couple hours to make sure powder is still in the reservoir, making sure to have that continuous production. But this is the M16. Uh, I missed the reservoir down here. Yes. And the sensor is down there somewhere. Correct. Okay. And there's media guide wheels we'll go over later, but that's going to keep the powder in the area, whether you're running a 13 inch, uh, 11 inch, any size inch roll media through there. Okay. And what's the widest size media that can feed through the M16? On here, I believe this can accommodate up to a 16 inch. So this guy would be compatible with the L2. We have it set up, I believe, at 13 inch mode at the moment to accommodate what we have in the R2. But this will be able to work with a number of different DTF printers. Now, when you say 13 inch mode, uh, what's, how do you switch ah, so, modes? So, let's show you here. So, in the reservoir, we got this spindle. Okay. It's so super just... easy, user friendly. You're gonna kind of measure out the size of your media yeah. and then adjust these guys, these media wheels accordingly, and that'll keep the powder however size big the nice. film is. I like that, I like that. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, and over here, moving on to the L2. Yes. L2, and this, now, why would somebody get the bigger one the, the, versus the M16? Why would somebody get the bigger shaker? So here on this one, this is going to need less manual user attention. Because the L2 is going to pump out at a higher rate, I believe this one we're looking at about 60 to 70 square feet an hour. Yeah. You don't want to have to be tending to this as much. So because it's spinning out as much film, this powder is going to be able to, I'd say, I think three to four hours of attention. Okay. Possibly four to five. Don't quote me on that one, but wow. at least four okay. hour range. 
is because it's going to have a larger uh, reservoir for the powder here. There's more sensors at work. Additionally, yeah. on this model, if you were looking at something like this, there's going to be less media waste. Meaning when you do your initial feed, the conveyor belt on this machine has suction and vacuum. Oh, so okay. on the conveyor portion. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the M16, no, there's no suction on there? Correct. Okay. On that one, you would feed the media continuously through. That allows us to create the size mode and a smaller uh, physical footprint. Yeah. And at a more affordable price point. Okay. Now, uh, as far as width concerns, because some people have size restraints when coming into the door. Are these the same width? This one is going to be a little smaller, so this one will fit through a standard, regular household door. Mm -hmm. Additionally, you don't need any special electrical with this model. Okay. On this size, I have to double check on the voltage on here. The, this series does, on the larger size I know for sure, is going to need the 220 volts. This one here, the smaller one, runs on regular US 110. Okay, okay. Cool, man. And this is software right here. Yes, sir. That's the back end of the software. Here. Yeah. Correct. So this is a board. This is going to be more on the maintenance side when yeah. you're doing your cleanings, your nozzle checks. Um, you can toggle a few other different options here like alignment, if you're setting margins for certain films. And then you're probably a little more familiar. Let's get this guy up and loaded. Yeah, with that software right yeah, there. Yeah, powered system. rip to make sure you're optimizing your film, getting your ink layers, everything proper, right resolution. And I'm sure you played around with it a little bit. There's some design element features. I wouldn't call this a design software, right. but if you're looking to knock out a color, add rasterization, place holes, uh, remove backgrounds, this does have some design elements, even if you're not a graphic artist per se, like okay. me. <laughs> cool, man. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And we'll go over to the L2 later on, guys. Yes. I just got in here, so let me go say hi to everybody and, and walk around and get myself situated. Wow, I see some nice stuff over here. Look at that rotating heat press table right here. It's pretty cool in the background. Man, first time here. So let me take everything in. I'll be right back. Obviously, you want to wind it up straight. And we're going to go with the four this time. And resume the print. And as needed, I'm not, I could add more power. Yep, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the whole initial setup process. It's about 97% done. If you want to pull more, uh, the second drop in the after this. So guys, with this specific model right here, this is the Prestige L2, XL2, and with this shaker right here, it actually when the powder drops down, it actually puts the powder back up here automatically. So it's really like a standalone unit. That is super cool. That is super cool. Interesting. How does it know when to start putting the powder back? Like usually, like while the operator when you put on in the morning, that enough, you don't have to think about it. Mm. That's the good thing for this machine. So right now, while it's running, uh -huh. what tells it to start putting powder back on top? That's I don't know, but I think that's a circulating at like certain amount of time. I think. Oh, okay. that's what I'm guessing. I, I didn't hear anything about it, but that's oh, okay. probably yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe there's a weight system at the bottom or something. I don't think so because yeah. on the, when you see the bottom side there is no like you know plate right. yeah. Maybe yes but yeah. So it's a vacuum that puts it up top. You can see the vacuum and the and the bottom you know okay. the very bottom you know. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Okay, I got it. Shuffle, shuffle. 
Wait, wait, what is that? What is that? What is it? Okay. Alright, cool. Okay. For this time, I'm going to put this on the top of it. Listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby. Like 